In today's 360 Life video, we will be looking at Samsung's app for the Gear 360, Gear 360 Manager. We'll pair it to our new Gear 360 camera and go over what it does and how it works. Please, if you like the content you see, give us a like, subscribe, and drop us a comment below. Let's get started. Find and launch the Play Store. Click on your search bar, type in Gear 360, and find and select Gear 360 Manager in the drop-down. Then click on Install. While the app installs, grab your Gear 360 camera and make sure it's ready for pairing. Launch the app and click Connect to Gear 360 to begin. Go through all of the initial configuration and make sure Bluetooth is turned on and we are ready to connect. Next, make sure your Gear 360 is turned on. Press and hold the menu button to put the Gear 360 into pairing mode. Now, the phone will scan and find the Gear 360. Once it finds it, select it and press OK to confirm the Bluetooth pairing. Agree to the terms of service and we should be in business. Now that we are connected, we have four options. Camera, Gallery, Broadcast Live, and Settings. Now the gallery is going to allow you to manage your 360 files both on the camera and on the phone. From the camera, you can preview your videos and stills, delete them, or save them to your phone. Now from your phone, you can play back files, share them, delete them, or you can trim them right from the app. To trim a file, just drag the markers to set your out and in points, click save, and it will save the trim version of that video onto your phone. It's also worth mentioning that you can preview those files on your Gear VR from within Gear Manager itself, although there are better ways of doing this from within the Gear VR app itself. Now let's check out the camera view, where we get to see a live preview from the camera. The first preview mode you will see is the 360 view. Just click and drag to change perspective. And you can also pinch to zoom in and out. There are also a few other preview modes we can look at. Round view, which is a pretty cool tiny planet preview. We have stretched mode. We have dual view. And we also have a full panoramic equirectangular view. From here, you can adjust the exposure. And you also have a few white balance options, including sunny, cloudy, incandescent, fluorescent, and back to auto. 
You can toggle HDR on and off. And you can also access all of your camera settings from here. We also have the following capture modes. Video, photo, time lapse, video looping, and landscape HDR. And of course, you can start and stop recording as well as trigger a single photo from here. Now let's take a look at the settings. First, you can see a few stats and some basic settings here. Under the camera settings, you can change both the single and dual lens recording resolution, set the timer, set the ISO limits, add sharpness, toggle wind noise reduction, and toggle the location tags. Now the last option from the main menu is Broadcast Live, where you can broadcast live to YouTube, Facebook, and Samsung's VR site. Well, that's about it. I hope some of this helps you if you're thinking about getting a Samsung Gear 360. And catch us next time, and enjoy that 360 life.